This empty lot in Shasta County is where Marcy Fernandez and her late husband Larry bought the home in which they plan to live out their lives together. It was the first place we'd ever bought. We've always rented. So it was really special to us. For 18 years, it was right here until the car fire raged through in late July. You just saw a flat roof on the ground, metal roof on the ground, and, and the shop was just gone. Only some plants, her goldfish, and a lone rose bush survived the fire. Remnants of her home, as well as her husband's workshop, including all the tools, machinery, and heavy equipment, littered her four-acre property. Nothing but charred rubble. Multiply that by the more than 1,600 homes destroyed by the car fire. But multiply that by 18,000 for the campfire. Now you get an idea of what Butte County and fire survivors there are facing. The removal of hazardous household waste is well underway. But it's going to take months to remove the estimated 5.3 million tons of debris. We want our community to get cleaned up. And we want people to rebuild. And we want them to be living back in the ridge and in Concow and in the canyon and in the valley. And this is the first step getting the fire debris removed. Butte County's Casey Hatcher is urging homeowners to take advantage of the government-sponsored debris removal program. The campfire, now officially the state's most destructive wildfire, came on the heels of the car fire in Shasta County. So that's where they turned their attention as soon as recovery began. We've been there, we've seen those properties, we've talked with our cohorts in Shasta County and Redding, and we've seen how that experience has looked for their residents. The debris removal program first taps the homeowner's insurance coverage, but any and all costs after that are picked up by the state program. There is zero cost to the homeowner. I've only heard good things, honestly. Paul Hellman is the director of resource management for Shasta County. He monitored the state debris removal program in his own county. Uh, all of the stories that I've heard and, and people I've talked to, uh, everyone seems to have been very happy with the results and, and the, the efficiency and the speed at which it all occurred. That tree would have fallen right on the house. The cost of debris removal was just too much for Marcy to handle alone. And then they said you had to scrape uh, to get all the toxins out of the soil, so I knew that would be very expensive. So she signed the required right of entry form and opted in to the state program. Well, to me, it was totally worth it. I mean, I, I can't conceive of doing it myself and they were very understanding and helpful. They didn't take very much time. You know, there was a lot of places to clear, and I had to wait my turn, but it, it, they did an excellent job. In order to use the state's debris removal program, homeowners must complete the right of entry form and turn it in no later than January 31st. You may do that at either the Disaster Recovery Center in the Chico Mall or at the ROE Center in Oroville. Again, the deadline is January 31st. I'll have a new uh, manufactured home, they call them now. Marcy is now ready to rebuild. In six to nine months, she'll be able to tend her new garden, cultivate her roses, and begin the new chapter in her life. It takes time to recover, and um, it's very emotional. I'm Sean Boyd, reporting for Cal OES, Inside Look.